Uh, I can grab him. You just watch him. Once the catheter is in the urethra, you will want to pull the penis within the prepuce dorsally and caudally to straighten the urethra. If the catheter doesn't advance easily, attach a sterile flush to the catheter and perform retrograde urohydropropulsion to push the obstruction into the bladder. You may move the catheter back and forth during this process. Attempting this process again, extrude the penis and place the tip of the catheter within the urethra. Your assistant may attach a sterile saline flush at this point to perform retrograde urohydropropulsion. While flushing, you may gently move the catheter forward and backwards while remaining seated in the urethra. Remember to pull the penis within the prepuce caudally and dorsally to ensure that the urethra is straight. Once the catheter flushes easily, remove the stylet to decrease the incidence of urethral trauma. If the catheter doesn't advance easily, you may reattach a flush and while flushing, advance the catheter into the bladder to the pre-placed suture device. Seen here, the urine is being removed from the bladder. The first urine sample should be discarded because it contains flush. A second urine sample will be more representative and should be saved for urinalysis and urine culture. Next, using your pre-made sterile saline flushes, flush the bladder copiously until no improvements in urine clarity or color can be seen. If the urine isn't flowing easily, the urinary catheter position may need to be adjusted. You may pull gently back on the urinary catheter until the urine flows easily, as seen here. Seen here is how to attach the catheter to the cat using the suture device. Using 3-aught nylon suture attached to a needle 
pass the needle through one of the large holes of the base of the suturing device. Then, using a horizontal mattress pattern, pass the needle through the skin of the prepuce and then back up through one of the holes of the suture device. Tie the suture at this point. This process should be repeated one additional time. Here we are seeing the process repeated. Our 3 aught nylon suture attached to our needle is passed through a large hole in the base of the suturing device, then through the skin of the prepuce and back up through one of the large holes and then the suture is tied. This next step demonstrates the placement of two sutures around the neck of the suturing device. Two aught nylon suture is recommended for this step. The first suture is placed between the first ridge and the disc of the suturing device. The suture should be tied firmly. The second suture is placed between the two ridges. Flex the tail dorsally to ensure that there is enough slack in the catheter to prevent it from pulling on the prepuce. Then wrap the white tape around the catheter and then around the tail of the cat to affix the catheter to the tail of the cat. The catheter should be taped on the dorsal aspect of the tail. At this point, you may now attach the closed urinary collection system to the catheter, allowing for urine to drain into the bag. 